What is going on guys? Young46. So it's been a while since I've done a vlog, so I wanted to do one. Got to get back on the horse. Um, as you know, I had to have gallbladder surgery, so I've been down for a little bit, but it's been uh, about three weeks, roughly. So yeah, about three weeks. So feeling pretty good, back to normal, ready to start lifting and uh, doing everything like normal. So the plan is to do a five week cut. So current weight, I'm about 192, I think right around 192 um, which is good we started at like 204 or something like that so we made made a good cut but really over the next five weeks so from now until I think it's March 5th my goal is to really focus in hone down cut but also build I know that's that's kind of counterintuitive to what most people think like you can only do one or the other but I think I can build muscle while also losing weight just have to be smart about it so that's gonna be my focus for the next five weeks we're gonna do the cut. So I'm gonna to try to vlog, uh, you know, once or twice a week, something like that. Maybe more if I can, but I'm gonna to commit to at least one a week if I. Uh, that should be doable. Um, focus today is gonna to be getting back in the gym, so doing some lifting, and then getting some cardio in today. I don't know. See, I don't know if I want to do like real heavy cardio and heavy lifting. I'm not real sure how to get the gains while also losing the weight. And in terms of weight, I'm not thinking anything crazy like. You know, over the next five weeks, if I can lose like six, five, six pounds, I'd be happy with that. If we're putting on muscle, right? Even less. I mean, I'd be okay if I was like 188 too. As long as we're adding muscle. That's really, really what my focus is on right now is just getting bigger in terms of arms, chest, and then around the midsection, tightening that up a little bit. So a lot of core exercises, a lot of, um, like I said, just pretty much everything but legs. My legs are perfect don't need to mess with those um, very muscular very low fat so I usually don't even mess with legs and probably won't during this cut either so that is the plan it is 12 20 I have been fasting for about 18 hours so the plan is to work out run and then food so let's get this day going All right, we're in the gym, AKA my basement. Um, I did put some brighter lights in, so it should be a little bit brighter on video. So I'm, I'm thinking about training, right? And I've been reading this book by Zach Deschamps. I think that's his name. He is the strength and conditioning coach for TCU baseball. And it's called Movement Over Maxes is the book. And it's kind of interesting. Traditionally, people do like Monday I do, you know, back and buys, buys and tries, whatever. And you, you mix it up and do different muscle groups on different days. Um, but in his book, it's about how he trains his team to do full body workouts five to six days a week. So they're hitting all muscle groups every day, which is, is kind of interesting. So I think I am going to try that. I'm going to give that a try, maybe just for the first week and, and see how it goes, or maybe two weeks, I don't know. But I want to switch it up, do something a little non-traditional and see what the results are. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that, what you guys do. So I'm going to mix it up. Traditionally, I've always done that, you know, Mondays you know buys and tries chest and back that whole thing but we're gonna switch it up and see so let's get into this workout and see how it goes
sucks. Feels good though, but it's not too heavy a weight. But you do 10 all the way down, and then you do 10 halfway up, and then 10 halfway down. Oh my god. Biceps are burning right now. All right, that workout was, uh, oh my God, it was brutal. So yeah, I did a half hour like nonstop, no rest. You'd be amazed how much you can get in a half hour. So I am, I am so sore right now. I'm like, literally my hands are like shaking. I'm sure the camera's probably shaking a little bit, but uh, it's one o'clock, so time to eat. Our first item, throw with some fish. So nice little pre-packaged fish, just a wild cod, Pacific cod. I think it's 120 calories, lots of good protein. So that's what we're going to start with. And then uh, we're going to go with a baby spinach salad. So I'm going to measure everything out. So that's kind of my thing for the next five weeks. If I can't weigh it and I can't be precise, I'm not going to eat it. So that's, uh, that's kind of what we're going to do. I guess I really don't need the scale. I got it out. But the cheese, you know, we're going to go with a quarter of a cup, which is right here. And then the salad dressing, we're going to go with two tablespoons. So uh yeah that's what we got i'll show you what the finished product looks like here in a minute all right so meals done so we've got uh our cod here so i'm really weird about fish not being cooked and uh, it was kind of thick so i just chopped it up just to make sure it was cooked evenly throughout uh nothing worse than biting into cold fish makes me want to puke and then we've got our salad so i ended up not quite going with what i said i ended up doing one tablespoon of dressing then a little less than a quarter cup of cheese and then of course we got the baby spinach and we're gonna have some water total calories pretty low it's about 248 calories so not as high as i should be um, but I'll try to make that up throughout the day. So I'd planned on eating twice, probably have to bump that up to three times just to get the calories I need in today. So I'm going to dig into this meal. I hate fish, so, and I'm not a big fan of spinach, so not the most enjoyable meal, but hey, when you're cutting, sometimes you got to eat shit that you really don't want to eat. It is about 310 technically 309 uh, we're gonna call it 310 and I'm starting to feel a little hungry so we're gonna try to get those calories up a little bit so I am gonna do a quarter cup of pistachios these are already de-shelled so it's kind of nice and uh, they're kind of tasty a little chili roasted and then I've got two chicken breast here so I think the calories are gonna be somewhere probably right around between 450 and 500 if I had to guess um, yeah, so that'll get me up somewhere around 850 to 900. So we're going to bump the calories up a little bit. We'll keep our, our dinner somewhat light, um, but I'd like to stay under, you know, probably 1,500 calories if I can. So it still gives us a lot of room to play with for dinner. Uh, but yeah, starting to get a little hungry. Also threw some Heinz 57 on there for a little bit of sauce because you got to have a little something. So yeah, I'm going to eat this, and then I will see you guys back for dinner. All right, dinner time. So I, I forgot. I'll be honest, and I ate most of my dinner. So I ended up getting a chipotle chicken quesadilla with fajita mix and uh, cheese and guac. So it ended up being, I ate probably somewhere around two thirds of it. So probably about 390 calories roughly for that. <clears throat> um, maybe like 400. So it puts me total calorie count for the day at a little over a thousand. So might have something later. I really don't like eating too late and it's almost nine o'clock right now. So I'll probably just cut it off for the day. Um, calorie counts a little low. I'd like to be somewhere between 13 and 1500 ideally, but yeah, first day, first day at it. So feels good. I'm, I'm so sore from lifting. I'm quite sore, but we're going to do it again tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, so appreciate you guys tuning into the vlog. We're back. So, uh, like I said, I'm gonna try to do one to two a week, probably. And this is going to be a five week cut. So yeah, we'll see how day two goes, but pretty successful day one. I will catch you guys next video.